Hello beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to your weekly oracle reading. Let's see what messages the universe has for pile one. And so all of the decks that I used for this reading, I noticed halfway through, they're all somehow earth related or connected. So universal energy coming through, always universal energy coming through, but this is more of an earthy, grounding, plants, nature, animals, um, weather conditions. So I thought that was important for some of you to know. So the first three cards I have for you, home, shelter, safety, nurturing, and warmth, mind or the mind sorry openness flexibility imagination and learning and the third chakra card forgiveness and you can see a rainbow in the background and it looks like she's making a wish or maybe she's just uh, blowing on the dandelion seeds in order to create more so birthing connecting with earth creating so the main message is coming in for this is um, your home environment you could let me see so the main message coming in for this is about your home environment and it's time for some of you to do let's say a little spring cleaning before spring this is about balancing out the energy clearing your home it doesn't feel as good as it can and especially when we've had a crazy hectic day um, the last thing we want to do is come home to more of a disruptive uncomfortable you know unpleasant and you, some of you have gotten used to living this way and it's time to clear and to rearrange and for others it's not so much um, that yours is feeling disconnected you may have a great setup but the universe is saying it's time to rearrange it's time for something new so those of you that are used to or have a specific setup in your home this isn't doesn't have to be a major overhaul or anything like that it's just about rearranging um, I'm hearing feng shui and this is for some of you not all of you maybe you already do this and for some of you maybe you've been curious or you don't know but I'm hearing look into feng shui um, just reorganizing clearing cleaning up tapping into your intuition um, to help you to help guide you with this even if it's something that seems a little strange or you don't understand why you're getting this information just go with it um, a quick example when I was redoing my bedroom at one time I just kind of had really strong intuition certain colors to go with certain ways to place things where to put um, an indoor fountain on my dresser and the strange thing is I didn't know anything about feng shui at the time and a few years later someone gave me a book as a gift and I was looking through this and I absolutely could not believe it. it blew my mind a lot of the things I did they talked about in this book to do which I had done in the colors and everything I was just like oh my god this is insane so just know go with your intuition no matter how bizarre or it might not seem like it's going to work out or be good for you but in the end it will just try and experiment to find out what works for you and as far as the heart chakra also you know tapping into the third eye but also the heart the he the coherence of the heart and the mind and listening to the heart mostly and then listening to the mind and forgiveness this isn't about per se I'm not getting the usual you know work that you need to do as far as forgiveness what I'm picking up is there's some kind of energy uh, this could have been a roommate or a past relationship or maybe people that lived in the home you're at before you there's some kind of heaviness some energy um, something somebody was suffering they needed to forgive themselves or forgive a person 
Um, so it's time to clear out that energy overall I mean it's always good to do a weekly or even daily clearing depending on who you are and what your life is like some of you need it more than others but you need an overall clearing so this is coming in as well rearranging changing up the energy clearing out whatever this was that was there before it could have been a friendship it could be somebody known to you and again as I said it could be past people uh, some kind of energy needs to be cleared out. So again, go with your intuition, start rearranging, moving things around, clearing things out, maybe giving back, doing some donation work, freeing up space to bring more in, allowing yourself to receive new energy, new inspiration. And the next card is consistency. So from now on, this is something that you need to become consistent with. Again, a little tip I have, something that I like to do. Um, as the seasons change, I change the energy in my home as well. And again, it doesn't have to be anything crazy remodeling, but certain areas, every room in the house, I like to add something. Like in the fall, I'll go outside and specifically pick up you know things that are fall colored or just add a little bit of that autumn energy or winter each season I change that energy around so the universe is saying be more consistent with this practice in your life and formation again what's coming through for formation with me is that feng shui energy pay attention learn how to rearrange how to align things and for those of you that use crystals you're probably very familiar with this because you know certain formations of crystals is supposed to create you know certain types of energy and also more powerful energy so paying attention to the alignment learning more about this and unity you're going to feel more connected. You're gonna notice this right away. And again, I know that some of you do this, but maybe you just haven't in a long time, or you know, you've just been distracted and forgotten and gotten used to what you're doing. So as you start to do this, clearing this out, it's gonna bring more unity. You're going to feel more balanced, more grounded. Uh, it's going to start to feel more homey to you, and you're gonna notice this connection it's going to feel really good. It's going to get that energy moving and flowing. It's going to bring more creativity, more groundedness, um, more abundance in your life. And leadership. <clears throat> this is going to help you feel more powerful in who you are. We often forget just simple little changes, how that energy can affect us. So you're going to feel stronger. You're going to feel more powerful. Think of the polar bear. He is the king of the Arctic. So think about that strength, that energy of the polar bear. And fulfillment, as I was saying a few minutes ago, um, this is going to bring more fulfillment, more joy, more abundance in your life. Um, you're going to look forward to coming home more and not think, oh, you know, it's just a cluttered up mess. I don't want to deal with it. You're moving that energy. You're getting things flowing. It's going to feel so good. You're going to start looking forward to spending more time in your home more joy, more abundance, and wonders. Maybe you're someone who does uh, certain types of practices, like when there's a new moon, or meditation. This movement, this change, is gonna help bring more intuitive hits to your mind. You might receive more um, ideas through meditation, or just feeling good. Sometimes, you know, an idea will just pop into your mind at that time. So that's really exciting. Um, to expect more wonders in your life, in your home, outside of your home, because think about how powerful you're becoming, how good you're feeling, and you carry that with you outside of your home as well. So attracting more magic, more miracles, more abundance. And the next three cards I have, and again, these are all very earthy. The entire deck is somehow connected to the earth. My intuition is strong and clear. I trust the voice within. Again, intuition. I love it. Intuition came through like three different times. So really paying attention to how you feel and go with that as you're creating this space. I choose to live with courage. I do not allow others to intimidate me. I stand my ground. I never give up. So polar bear energy coming through. I like that. 
Be strong in your commitments. Again, this power inside the home is going to help you outside of the home as well. So maybe this is referring to a project you're working on or something at your job where you might feel that someone's trying to manipulate or control you. This is going to bring more power into you, into your solar plexus and light you up. Don't allow others to manipulate you. The universe has something very special in store for me. How exciting. So, yep, realigning. I mean, this actually is something special. It's telling you exactly what to do and how to go about it and what it's going to do for you. So this is already something special and more is coming in. And the last three I have for you are three more chakra cards. Embrace the balance between earth and spirit. Beautiful, clear quartz, rose quartz, and hematite for those of you who use crystals and stones. So, and this is all chakras, so coming into balance. Embrace the balance between earth and spirit. And again, this is a very earthy, all of these decks are extremely earthy. So about connecting, grounding, and in the mind, the conscious spirit, the divine spirit, connecting with that. Grounding, so gr <laughs> grounding came up twice for you. Red Jasper, Root Chakra, sink your roots deep, connect them to the heart of the earth. So I'm hearing for some of you, uh, part of this rearrangement, bringing in plants. Plants, oh my God, I can live without plants in my house. They really help ground an earth and you have that exchange of um, oxygen and carbon, wait, what do we breathe out? Carbon monoxide? And you have that energy exchange with plants as well, or maybe even a plant, or I'm sorry, maybe a, a pet, but I'm hearing plants. This is something else to bring in that's going to help ground you. Bring the outside inside. You'll be surprised at the difference you feel. And intuition, look at that, coming up twice. So really pay attention to those intuitive hits. Uh, amethyst, intuition is the little tug that pulls you towards your light. So spirit is coming in really strong and powerful for this. So really paying attention to that intuition. Beautiful, powerful reading. Those are your messages for the week. I hope they're helpful. Good luck on your path. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Satnam. Hello, beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to your weekly oracle reading. Let's see what messages the universe has for pile two. And as I'm getting into this deck, I just want to let you know, um, for some reason, all of the decks that I use, they're very earthy. They have uh, something to do with connecting to the earth in general very powerful universal energy coming through. And the first three cards, passion, desire, fun, fulfillment, and joy. And this one specifically is the heart chakra. And a third eye chakra. And solar plexus chakra. Okay, so the message coming through for this um, it is time to reconnect or connect to your passion. Some of you have been thinking about this for a long time and you keep putting it off or you've started it and then you stopped halfway through or part of the way through for some reason. So the universe is saying it is time to reconnect to the passion, the drive inside of you. It's time to ignite that fire um, you're going to be a lot happier. You have something to share with others. This isn't just about doing it for yourself, though. That is going to bring a lot of pleasure into your life as well. But some of you are just feeling like something in your life is missing. And no matter what you do, there's nothing that has filled that hole for you. And that's because it is not your passion. You're just, maybe you're over shopping or overeating or just spending your time with people who are not necessarily the best influence for you and you can't quite figure out what it is it's because you're not pursuing your passion so it's time and the universe is saying through intuition and this is really strange because the first reading the second card was also third eye 
um, listen to your intuition you're someone who is very intuitive and you most of you are aware of that but for whatever reason you haven't been listening to it or following it through so if you feel kind of lost like oh, I don't know what to do listen to the intuition even if it's something you might not normally go with um, just try it out and see and the solar plexus connecting to that power within you that's going to help drive the passion as well because if you're not feeling good and confident about yourself which is what I'm picking up for most of you right now because you're not following that passion um, do some exercises do some things that are going to help raise that power and remind you who you are and again it's really going to take off when you start um, connecting with that passion it's just going to light you up right away and patterns okay two different things are coming through with patterns um, first of all pay attention again some of you have just been living day to day doing the same routine nothing new nothing fun nothing exciting and you're just feeling down and look at her face that does not look very happy face to me she's just kind of like uh she's kind of clutching her chest which I like that because again the heart chakra she doesn't look happy she feels the absence in her heart so pay attention to these patterns um, the patterns that you've fallen into and start doing something different every day but don't let it overwhelm you like something as simple as when you wake up get out of bed on a different side instead of doing the same thing every day put the opposite shoe on first that you normally would I mean this might sound silly and simple but don't dismiss the simplicity of it because little things like that help start training your mind and your brain and it's not something that's so overwhelming that you have to think oh, Oh God I got to push myself though I don't want to do this it's just a simple change that'll get you moving for those of you that feel really really stuck so paying attention to patterns that are not working for you but also the second part of that I'm getting pay attention to the patterns that are working for you and I just looked at the clock on my camera and it's at 111 minutes so some of you need to hear that how funny okay so anyway um, so yes paying attention to the patterns that are working for you and build on those patterns that's what's going to help get you moving as well perspective seeing things this goes well with patterns try to view things with a different perspective or someone that you trust in your life um, ask them some questions that can help you try to see things from another person's perspective this is another thing that really helps me because we can get so stuck in our head and not see beyond things but just being around certain people can really open you up and oh another message that just came in um, maybe go to a museum or see some art for some of you that will change your perspective as well something that really gets you excited that you enjoy it could be just going out to like some type of exotic restaurant going to a museum just out walking somewhere new that you've never been get that stimulation that creativity flowing that's going to fire up your passion and connection can um, each one of these are building off of the next and taking it a step further so connection with nature connections with other people connections with things that get you fired up sorry my incense is falling over um, so that connection is going to bring you back into it. and look at all that green again I love it earthy and heart chakra groundedness abundance so those connections those patterns a different perspective and the connections are really going to get you fired up and moving and the next card is simplicity which goes well with what i was saying before when i was giving you uh, some advice for those of you that are finding this really hard keep it simple when i was saying about you know getting out of bed on a different side or something as simple as that um, keeping the process simple don't let it overwhelm you keep that um, keep intuition in mind write the ideas down that are coming to you some of you are going to be flooded and I'm hearing don't let it overwhelm you it's just that you are getting um, back into this energy you're uh, getting back in tune with your heart 
so and your intuition so all of these ideas that have been on hold are just like going to over flood or over flood they're going to flood in and don't let it overwhelm you just write the ideas down keep the routine simple but make sure it's something fun that you're enjoying you're passionate and green is coming through again i love it protection so not to worry those of you are again you've been living a certain way for so long and you can get stuck and it starts to feel overwhelming or you're scared or nervous to move forward not to worry you're always protected um, the universe supports you i mean look how it's supporting you in this reading and just again connecting with the heart and the intuition is very powerful you're going to feel your guides ask for certain um, signs they always give us signs i mean a lot of times we miss it so ask specifically you know for a sign that you won't miss and new beginnings look at that this is a new beginning for you this is something that you're really going to love and enjoy once you get going let go of that fear keep it simple remember the patterns the perspective and the connection and a golden sunrise look at that i love that the golden sunrise is right under this solar plexus chakra as well so this is something you're getting back into for some of you very slowly for others it's going to be pretty quick and you're just going to love it you're going to see the power in it in the new beginning as you start to move forward okay and the next three cards and again earthy forgiveness helps me to let go and move on with my life opening up to new and loving experiences so some of you may need to work on some forgiveness and this could be part of what's been holding you back from your passion there's some kind of guilt going on that you need to take care of so letting that go working through the guilt letting go creates space for me to receive again let this could have something to do with the forgiveness but also just letting go of patterns letting go of these things that are not serving you and as soon as you let go and make space for something better it's going to come in it's going to guide and move you forward everything is going to be okay and green on green i love it and this kind of goes with protection for those of you that are still worried and freaking out and for those of you that are taking big risks and you might get a little nervous everything's going to be okay not to worry and the last three chakra cards solar plexus coming through again amber turn your warrior into a warrior destiny i love that third eye on the third eye uh fluorite follow your instincts they lead to the truth so you know this deep down but when you let go of that fear and remember everything's going to be okay it's easier to trust and stand in your power and the last one passion sacral chakra tiger's eye turn your fear of change into excitement for change wow so passion on the heart chakra and passion on the sacral solar plexus and third eye coming up twice which is really amazing oh my gosh beautiful reading so those are your messages for the week i hope they're helpful good luck on your path highest blessings and infinite gratitude sat nam hello beautiful and magnificent beings welcome to your weekly oracle reading let's see what messages the universe has for pile three and just to let you know all decks used are very earthy and grounding um, and also something interesting i noticed that every single reading all three readings the third card was solar plexus so um, that tells me that many of you really need to work do some work on that solar plexus chakra so your first three cards physical health root chakra vitality strength body image and balance the third card heart chakra compassion 
and also that uh, caring, empathy, acceptance, and gentleness. And sacral chakra, responsibility, self-discipline, empowerment, reliability, and fulfillment. Okay, so whew, this tells me that there are many of you who need to really pay attention to your health, to take better care of yourself. You've been neglecting, not just neglecting, but for some of you, because of the compassion and the heart chakra, some of you have really been taking it out on yourself. And this is something I can relate to. Um, in my earlier youth, I used to really be disappointed and upset with myself and blame myself for things that weren't my fault and I would just take it out on myself however I could. A lot of times it was just eating until I would feel sick or sometimes I would just drink myself into oblivion. <laughs> so not all of you but for some of you um, you're deliberately hurting yourself and the universe is saying no it's time to be compassionate. It's time to be responsible to open your heart to forgive yourself be more compassionate and um, also connecting with that solar solar plexus take your power back you know you are divine you are worthy and of course i can just stand here and say all of these things to you all day but it doesn't matter what i say if you don't believe it so some of you really need to do this work. It's time. Because if you keep going down this road, you know, something, maybe that's what you're working towards. Uh, but you deserve a better life. You deserve a good life. If you don't take care of yourself and stop this self-abuse or neglect, not all of you are deliberately abusing. But again, some are and some have just been so involved with other things that you haven't been giving yourself um, the time that you need. For some of you, you need to start eating healthier. Uh, some of you need some exercise, and that can be anything. If you're bored of what you used to do, try something new and exciting. Um, but your physical health is everything. If you take care of the body, the body takes care of you. I mean, think about it. If you look at some people that are the same exact age, some of them look 20 years older than they should be, while the other person might look 10 or 20 years younger. Physically, mentally, emotionally, you really need to take some time right now, um, as much as possible, and reflect and heal what's making you act this way. Um, again, it's going to be a major task for some of you, but for others, not so much. It's just that you've been neglecting because you know, for whatever reason, you've been too busy with work or spending too much time with people and just not feeling it. But you need to find a way to feel inspired. Do something that makes you want to do this exercise, that makes you feel good. Um, or again, it doesn't, if it's not exercise, it's eating healthier. Maybe it's mentally, you know, stimulating. You need to uh, read some books, do some meditation, something that helps get the energy moving and flowing because um, again this could be very dangerous if you keep living this way you're going to end up with all kinds of health problems or maybe I hate to say it but shorten your life if you continue to neglect yourself this way be more passionate and responsible and the next card renewal yes I love it it's time for renewal this is just building off of the physical health. So figure out exactly what it is, why it is, and then, you know, don't let it be overwhelming. Most of you know this is something that you've been needing to do. You're very aware of it. It's not like this reading is a surprise. You know this has been coming, <laughs> is what I'm hearing. Sorry, I don't mean to laugh. Um, so yes, it's time for renewal, physical, mental, emotional, spiritually, you know, asking for guidance, asking for support. It's always here for you. And some of you, the universe has been trying to help you, but you're pushing it away, you're neglecting it. Uh, for whatever reason, it could be guilt. Um, as I was getting with some of you, you, you're not feeling worthy. You need to work on your self-confidence. You need to forgive yourself, be more compassionate. And revision, you know, taking time 
to look at, let me see what I'm hearing. Remember how long this has been going on. Think about it. Um, once you figure out exactly why, some of you, oh, this breaks my heart. I'm hearing that this has been going on so long for some of you that you don't even remember why you've just gotten into the habit of neglecting yourself. So revision, going back to that, maybe trying to remember for some of you because this is going to help uh, heal you if you remember why you started doing this. And for some of you, you might not need to know. It's just about motivation and getting going again. And magnetism, paying attention to what you're attracting to yourself. You're in such a negative, low vibrational energy right now. You're attracting more of this um, more of what you don't need but you can do the complete opposite remember you are a magnet we can attract and look at all that gold energy around that bird I love it you can attract and the gold under the solar plexus I just noticed that so you can attract these things again ask for and ask for signs ask for help from the universe ask people that you love and trust to help motivate you and get you going to get you started okay. and delight again there's more gold energy surrounding the bird coming out of the grass i don't know if it's showing up or not but things that you enjoy it's going to help um, connecting to people places things whatever it takes to start helping you to feel good in any way whatever that is that energy is what's going to help get you going and freedom look at that birds represent freedom and you've got two birds coming out here so major freedom freedom it's time for freedom it's time to release yourself from the suffering and doing whatever that takes again it can be just just starting with something that makes you feel good that little spark is what's going to get you moving and you're going to be very successful once you start i mean again for some of you it's not going to be that big of a deal it's just a little motivation but for those of you that feel really stuck just know success is the path you are going to be successful but you have to make the effort you have to get that energy flowing you have to reconnect to your self-love your compassion for self and bringing things in that make you happy remembering you deserve a good life and for whatever reason that you don't feel that way it's because someone or yourself has convinced you but this is not true you're only human we all make mistakes you know, we all deserve forgiveness. You did the best that you could at that time. And the next three messages I have for you. And again, this is a very, very earthy deck. Or all of these are earthy decks. In my heart, I know that good things are coming my way. I love it. Yes, know that. Because it's true. If you don't believe it's not, then it's not going to happen because that is the energy you're putting out. You're still choosing to suffer. But as soon as you choose the opposite, because you are a magnet, you're going to start pulling that in. My patience is being rewarded. My, my turn will come. Yes. And the last... I soothe away anxiety and stress by choosing to do things that help me relax. And look at that. This is yellow again under the solar plexus coming out three times. So that is a major sign that that's something that you really need to work on mostly is the solar plexus area, your self-esteem, um, self-love. So doing things that help you relax doing things that bring your energy up and make you feel good and the last three chakra cards meditation to see more clearly close your eyes and how light is the stone crown chakra <laughs> what is that yep crown chakra coming out twice blue lace agate divinity recognize the divine in the mirror yes 
you are a divine being and the divine spirit lives within you and when you reconnect it's going to help you it's going to remind you expect tears i'm hearing because when you reconnect to that you're going to remember who you are and you're going to feel so amazing for that connection and the last chakra card throat chakra turquoise truth speak from your heart is the only thing worth listening to yes the heart always knows listen to the heart it's coming through right there beautiful powerful reading so those are your messages for the week i hope they're helpful good luck on your path highest blessings and infinite gratitude satnam